gummy, very oily, <laughs> very potent. Ugh. <laughs> Wow! Oh, oh! We can have mozzarella juice shots. You've never done that? It's a Spanish tradition. You stick your tongue right there. Fun, fun, fun! So our hotel offered a buffet for 11 euros. Instead, we came here and we ended up spending seven and a half euros on all this two almond milk lattes, which they definitely did not have at our hotel, so. Olive cheese bread. Oh yeah. I forgot this was a thing in Europe. You gotta put your coin in to get a cart. Like, I gotta bring a euro for the cart. These ones are okay though. It's like picture perfect, isn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> get ready for an upgrade in life. This is like whole food block. status. Look at this. 30 euros of cheese. You want to break into it? 30 euros, babe. Wow. Feeling so official getting like a legit farm with the mold on it, the cheese mold. Look at that. That means it's good. You want some animal leg? I'm looking for an animal leg. Huevos or, or sin huevos? Con. Con. Olives are better with the pit in them. Can? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know, babe. I don't know how that brand is, but we got to try them all. Con huevos today. <laughs> I actually really like this method. Okay, so we have sin gluten, sin grasa de palma, no palm oil, no gluten, vegan. But look. I think this is so helpful to have like a little shortcut cheat sheet so you know what you're eating, like the nutritional value in it. It's really cool. The States are really the only place where you find eggs in the refrigerated section. I always found that really interesting. Uh, you can't get any kind of wine for this <laughs> in the United States. Um, sardines? Sardines or some mussels? Get that. Mussels. Guys, anchovies. Oh, yes, guys, look what I got anchovies, and then look, squid noodles. They look like squid noodles, amazing, huh? Allie's interested. Yes, look at this hot dogs in a jar, all American. All American. Amazing. What is this? Is this escargot? Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at the little snails in there. And you can get ham. I'm on. You can get ham in a million ways here. I just love the, the hot dogs in a jar. White asparagus. You can get your snail. No, your. Clams, mussels, clams and mussel, the wine, olives, and hot sauce. That's a perfect little set. Ooh, a little, little squirmer. Nice. Look at that. This guy's huge. Oh, huge. Guys, look at this. Here in Spain, in the Catalonia region, it's like they're uh, clams and snails. Are under are under safety lock. They're they're just as prized as external hard drives and laptops. Prosciutto, anyone? All right, welcome to our grocery haul from Spain. This is our first grocery haul here. So, um, this is all just kind of stuff that we'll be eating that doesn't really have to have a ton of refrigeration. We've got some fresh berries, an avocado, hummus for sure, salad. We got a lot of um, reusable utensils. We've got prized prosciutto. Whoa. Yep. Good luck with that, babe. Hundred. This was a ninety-nine dollars a kilo. 
So I didn't get the most expensive one. It was middle, middle price. Lots of huevos, con huevos. Lots of olives. We have about six kinds of olives. We have some more almond milk, instant coffee. One of our favorites, agua, aguacate. Aguacate. And I got a lot of beans um, because these are a source of protein for me as well as I do eat some cheese. And so... Of course, we got buffalo mozzarella. Jeremy's talking to you about the buffalo mozzarella last night. Yeah. Um, the thing with cheese is you... Right there, vegetarian. Because some cheese is not vegetarian. So... See what those are? Anchovies? Also not vegetarian. Jeremy's going to try it out. <laughs> um, when I've lived in Europe in the past and been in Europe, picnics are a huge thing, much bigger than in, like, L.A., so we're definitely gonna be picnicking a little bit. Time for a picnic. We got everything, we're bringing it out, getting it set up. It's gonna be fun. Today is a big work day for us. I have a lot of calls and all that, but it's nice to take a little lunch break in the sunshine. Enjoy being in Spain. One of the things I love about picnics is you can just take like whatever you want and it's okay because it's a picnic. So like, it doesn't have to make sense. Like we have the paella left over from last night doesn't have to make sense. I'm cutting up an avocado right now. It's like, we'll just throw it all together. It's all good. This is my inspiration for my lunch. I saw this on the back of the potato chips made with olive oil. And I thought, that's a great idea. So I got hummus, got two kinds of olives. So I'm excited to see how, how I can make this happen for myself. Make this dream happen that I, this dream I just had. I want to make it happen. I'm going to set up my stuff for lunch. I think we've got a mozzarella ball. This isn't muff buffalo. This is just normal mozzarella ball in a bag of uh, mozzarella ball water. So fantastic. You put it in your pocket. You ever put mozzarella in your pocket? I just did. And I've got yesterday's paella. So excited about that. You know, don't feel bad about incorporating leftovers. Aguacate. The other half of Valley's aguacate. I will try this for you. Anchovies. Um, I know it's, it's customary for lots of people. It's not normally in my diet. Um, something I seek out. But I will try some anchovies. And I've got some olives. So we're gonna be doing that. And I got a hundred hundred and twenty dollar um, per kilo prosciutto. I did not get a kilo. I only got a tiny bit. I don't know, maybe this is like an ounce or so. The most admired brand in the world. Wine. Fun fact, I got these. In the United States, they're called broad beans and they are the highest protein bean per like calories, but also just like density, I don't know. These are like a specialty in the United States. It's so hard to find these. I guess they're Italian or we get the Italian version in the United States, but that's why I got them, because I'm like, that's amazing, and they're so cheap here. Aguacate. Aguacate from Spain. I guess this is like my glorified chips and guacamole. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Mmm. Is that a Mexican dance? Spanish dance? <laughs> Probably. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I'm not sure the accent on that dance. Did avocados originate in Spain? That I don't know. I'd love to tell you I know know these things, but I don't think I know that. All right, so we have two kinds of olives. We have canned, or a tin of olives, as you would say in England, or canned olive, which you would say in the United States. Don't you guys think it's funny how you can be in countries that speak the same language and they use different words? 
But that's like how it works here in Spain. They speak the same language technically as Mexico, but different, different words mean different things. I do expect you all to recognize and praise me for the fact that we're using eco-friendly utensils so we can wash them, bring them with us, pack them. Guys, we're gonna be in Europe for so long. I love Europe. So prior to this world trip, I probably spent a total of like, I don't know, maybe four or five months? No, that's, that's a lie. Maybe six or seven months total on different trips and when I lived in the south of France for a few months. These are, um, let's see, gotta take another bite of these ones just on their own. Okay, so I like the flavor of these more. It's more like potent and strong. And I really love that. These are much more mild, maybe a little sweeter. These ones though are much more crunchy. So I actually like the texture of these ones and the flavor of these ones better. So, I don't know, that's my review. This is tomato and hummus. Mm. That might be my favorite combination. The tomatoes are so good. Very sweet and fresh. The hummus is salty. Mm. Uh, because when you're in Spain, Espanol, España, when you went in España, like me in España, El Vino is El Chipo, even though it's good -o. So I'm gonna try with, start with the wine here. What's the brand? Torres? Torres. They have lots of wine. I saw some were, were a little pricier than others. Uh, and when I say pricier, I mean like the highest, most expensive bottle of wine that we saw at the store we were at was $15. Almost all the wine was like under five bucks. And we were at a nicer little store. So that's actually pretty common, I believe here. The, the wine just comes more affordable. Oh, funny wine story. <laughs> I actually promised never to use these wine openers after I got rhinoplasty I had my nose redone the second time because wrestling football I broke it several times dog bite as well promised to never get this wine opener um, so I was got a rabbit a lift up pull down and then it was off because um, I was opening some wine and I took it and I was pulling it because it wouldn't open and I popped myself right in my nose the day after I had surgery I still had stitches on my nose and it hurts so bad <laughs> i promised i would never use these again but here i am didn't learn my lesson no i will promise to pull it away from my face i did i started crying instantly there we go i finally figured it out fun 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 would you like to drink this mozzarella juice no. What is that? It, we can have mozzarella juice shots. You've never done that? It's a Spanish tradition. You stick your tongue right there. No? <laughs> Milk from the bobby? Is that what they call that? Milk of the poppy? Is that what they call it, babe? Milk of Beautiful movies. Milk um, of the poppy. You know what that is, right? No. What is it? Opioids? Yeah. Made from poppies? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're in the same category as either of those things right now. <laughs> Look at this. Ow. Oh. It's way better when you're in Spain and you get to have mozzarella. Mozzarella! Because you know, when you have mozzarella in LA or Kansas City, it wasn't made right there, necessarily. Maybe it was, but in theory, you're, you're closer to like origin. So, guys, I got sardines. See, proves that we're here in Spain.
<laughs> Prove it that you're not on a picnic somewhere in LA. I just proved it to you. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Bone in sardine fish and oil. somewhere very close to us someone's actually having this for lunch <laughs> that's that's the thing that mind-blowing it's just you know it's it's like where you're raised you know everything's so different picnic with the boutroses paella very traditional spanish dish especially in barcelona we got the local olives i got the prosciutto aguacate which is an avocado and um, this is just traditional mozzarella in a bag. So fresh in the brine. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna dive in. I'm just gonna do dive in and and um, have a little bit of everything. Uh, fresh mozzarella. Mm. Very very soft. Very soft. I, I guess based on the consistency you're looking for, depending on what you're doing with it, would determine on how how hard or firm the mozzarella you would like it to be. But for snacking, super soft mozzarella is a way to go. The avocado. Flavorful. More water than a Haas avocado, but very flavorful still. I don't know what kind of version or varietal this avocado is, but we have noticed the food here is much more uh, organically inclined and nutritionally dense. The olives, there's so many different kinds of olives here. We're trying to figure out which ones we like. So we can get those again. And we're also trying new ones. And um, I think this kind of avocado is called uh, Amendos. Ancoa, Ancoa, if that's the name, I think. You guys obviously heard the, the rundown on last night's paella. So I don't have to tell you anything about that. But I'm excited to try this $100 kilo prosciutto. So it's all in the fat. It's all in the aging. You can even see right through this slice. There's so much flavor in that. Look at that. It's almost transparent in a lot of ways. I know very little about prosciutto. I didn't really understand it. No one ever presented it to me and really walked me through it. If I were to be honest with you, I'm actually planning to travel the world for another couple years just to perfect my taste buds. And I figured out a way to get you guys to help fund that journey. So thank you. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth here, one last bite of for now. All right. I got my uh, bone-in anchovies. Bone-in anchovies. I'll try one. I'll try one. I know it's a thing. I know it's a thing for a lot of people, but it's not. never been my thing. You know, one time I ordered a Caesar salad, and then it was a legit Caesar salad, and I guess the legit Caesar salads come with anchovies. And, um, and it was disgusting because I was not expecting it. 
But if I was expecting it and I developed that acquired taste like anything else, then perhaps it'd be something I'd look for. So the way I understand these anchovies, the bones are so small that you can eat them. Um, and so there's no nothing to worry about there. But I might get a little like cleansing on the inside. Who knows with all these little bones, the little ribbies. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I might spit it out. I have no idea. You get a good shot? Yep. You can put it on the cracker or you can on its own. Oh, on its own. This is, you know, I've cleansed my palate. Wine is like the ginger of España. For those that eat sushi, wine cleanses your palate. That was my joke. It wasn't a good one. Here we go. Smells a tad bit fishy. Oh, I got pricked with one of the bones. A little gummy, very oily. <laughs> very potent. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, so much on the back end. Oh, that was a lot of fish on the back end. On the front, it's very like light on the nose, but that was very like, oh. Bottom of the barrel, like, it's like you lick the bottom of a dock, you know? Oh. It's like I clean the fish net with my tongue. That was tricky. That was, I was not expecting that. It was very light on the nose. And I was like, this thing's gonna be so mild. And then it got really gummy. Then I got pricked with one of the, one of the bones. And then on the back end, it was like, boom. But tons of flavor. I'm not sure if the flavor was what I liked though, but it was there. I will politely decline the rest of these. I'm sorry if you enjoy anchovies from a can. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Maybe I need to develop more of a taste. But wow, that was surprising. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Not my favorite. I'm gonna go back to the prosciutto. We'll see you next time. So far, so good. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Kind of a chill day, but I know you have work days too. Well, most of you do. Some of you might not.